So we continue from the last exercise to introduce more effects and changes into our project. So in the last exercise, we have successfully connect one movie in, which is a still image graphics of the default robot over here to the output window. And this is one complete touch designer project at this point. So in order to create more effects for this one, you can, for example, introduce more transformation before you connecting the two of them together. And if you would like to disconnect one connection, you can just do a right click onto the link and select disconnect. So the link will be removed. And to add more, you can press the tab again and then go to the top, this texture operation, and then select some of those graphical effects you are familiar, for example, in Photoshop. So we select, for example, one thing called the edge detection filter. So imagine you can, for example, do something like Photoshop filter. You apply a filter to an input file. This is the original input file by making a connection and then it will apply the effect. And then after you apply the effect, you make the connection back to the output objects. So this is the final object. So you can have a look of the final object either, for example, press the display flag over here. It will give you the screen which occupy this canvas window with the final output of your visual image. And in the other way, you can also have a look of the final input by, for example, selecting this out object using a right click and do a view. And you will have an external window which contains only the output image of this particular box. And for some of the case, you would like to, for example, disable temporary some of the effect. You can do it in multiple ways. You can, for example, disconnect all the connection and then drag the output from the movie in to the out one again. And this is a not so simple way. So one of the most simple way is we make use of another control in this particular objects. So in fact, in most of the object, you will find this particular arrow, which is called the bypass thread. So once you click the bypass thread, so the operation within this object will be bypassed. So that means they have no effect. And the message or the image from the original one will send directly to the output bypassing the center one. So if you press the bypass press again, it will be enabled again. So the window we have been working on, we call the edit mode. And we create a lot of all those boxes. You can try out different effects and to work on with the graphics. And we can also work on with another mode in touch designer we call the performance mode so in a lot of case for example if you have animation or movie over here you can click back the play button in order to play back the movie around here and once you are happy with the effect you can go to for example the location in the top left corners called the performance. So when you click the performance, it will give you a window, which is the default size of the output window, which give only the output image, but without all those connection and touch designer interface. So this is usually when you, you finish your project and you can do a performance by displaying the final output, you create this one. And when you would like to go back to the edit mode, you press the escape key. So it will take you back to this particular window. And in the things you have seen in the perform mode, it gives you this particular window. 
and as well you see other windows in the window system and all the others icon and which may not be very present if you are working on with the performance or installation so in this case we will make use of another component in order to for example create a full screen display you can for example choose from pressing the tab button to invoke this panel again and this time we select a component which is something which is a little bit more complicated because there are other person they offer they create the the objects for you we select the window and inside this window we change some of this property by pressing the p key and you will see a lot of those selection so one of the control to enable the full screen is by pressing the fill area selection so once you press the fill area selection you do not need to select for example the size and placement of this window and you can also disable the border of the window by having a totally full screen display and in order to let touch designer to know that this window contain your output so you have to indicate in this parameter that you have to display this output window the way to do it is to drag this one by pressing this object and holding the mouse key and drag it to the operator selection and then release your key and in that case the operator will contain the name of this object called OUT1 and you can see the OUT1 over here and the window will contain this particular graphics so the next step to enable the display of this window is we will replace the default performance window by doing a selection from the dialog pull down menu with the use of the window placement and window placement is covered the use of the window you would like to display on your screen during your performance for example you can select some sort of special placements of your window if you have for example multiple screen so in this case we will drag this one the window one onto this window placement panel and put it in the perform selection over here so you can see the arrow with the precise which indicate this is the location where you can release your mouse button and then after you release the button you press the apply to make the effect and you can also save your project again so in this case when you press this perform mode button it will give you a full screen display of your final graphical output on your screen and in case this is your performance or installation you do not need to for example take care of those behind graphics or icon in your window system so if you're happy with this one you press the escape key go back to this particular window where you can work on with other modification so this is your first exercise in the use of touch designer and if you have a lot of change made in this particular window you can go back to the original position by pressing the H key which will center your we call it a network or the connection of those boxes into the center of the screen where you can start to make on make other modification after that so this is the way we can streamline your activity in using touch designer